All right, in this video, we're going to make an announcement of one of the biggest news of all time in the history of Bitcoin. Satoshi lives. It's not being reported. I'm going to talk about it and show you a little bit more about that and also rebut some of the allegations being put out there from COPA uh, in the COPA v. Wright case coming up here regarding the, the, uh, the Genesis block and how this all fits together. And I'll tell you right now, this is probably one of the most exciting times leading up to this big COPA case coming up and the, where the rivals, the COPA, which is the Crypto Open Patent Alliance, are going to be facing off with Dr. Craig Stephen Wright, the Satoshi team, and then rolling over into the passing off claims, the, uh, the BTC core claims, and why this is uh, really the biggest, the biggest news of a trillion dollar industry right now that we, we, we can be talking about in the way of, uh, I, I think it's just monumental news. So, but let's talk about something that is not being covered again. We got to get it out there. Satoshi lives. A few days ago, there was a video put out by the COPA side on the Dr. Bitcoin channel that mocks, hats off to those guys, but they mock laughingly uh, they mock Dr. Wright's comprehension and understanding of the Genesis block because they say that Dr. Wright doesn't know what he's doing. It's just more reasons that he doesn't always talk about. It. Here's what he stated. He states on the Genesis block, it is not a wallet and isn't and wasn't spendable. Nothing ever moved. Nothing can ever be moved because it's not a valid mind coin, but an anchor. This is on January 3rd, 2023. And he cites, uh, you know, a link to the Kraken Exchange post. Let me, let me just uh, share this here as I, as a, yeah, on this day in 2009, the first 50 Bitcoin ever ever minted were were minted in the Bitcoin block, the Genesis block. And a wallet that's never moved since. Thank you, Satoshi. This is on January 3rd. And then Wright makes this comment, which I just read. Genesis block is neither my, uh, a wallet and it isn't and wasn't spendable. Nothing's ever moved. Nothing can be moved. It's not a valid mine coin. It's the anchor block. What does he mean by that? You know, this is like really super significant. So according to the opposition, the COPA side, those guys on the Dr. Bitcoin channel, they're they're stating that Craig doesn't know what he's talking about. It's just more allegations of uh, nonsense, fraud. I'm going to make the, uh, I'm going to rebut, let's rebut that right now and actually make the point as to why Wright is stating this. He has a superior. Can we can we agree that he's got a very superior understanding of the law? Well, he's a doctorate in law. We know that much. He definitely knows the law. He's uh, highly he's 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 been a he's a doctor in it. Uh, and with that understanding, he's looking back at this old case, SEC versus Howie, 1946, and he's looking at what they consider a security. What is the security under the Howey test? And according to that Genesis block, he's so firm in, in stating that it can't move, it can never move, it wasn't mined because it's the anchor of the entire blockchain. Why? Because the Howey test talks about how there's four separate requirements to become a security. An investment of money, a common enterprise, an ex expectation of profit derived from others' efforts. And any effort that doesn't meet that uh, is uh, is not a commodity. Now, I'm going to make the argument that a common starting point, all right, any digital token that fails to match and have a, a reasonable amount of time or like having a, a, a foundational starting point and, and a reasonable amount of time for anyone to start the network, like a, an actual, uh, as, as Wright put, Dr. Wright put it, a, uh, a you know, a starting, uh, an actual, uh, the Genesis block was the anchor. You know, it was the, it can't move because it was the anchor. 
And that's because as the anchor, it's the common starting point. And so, and it, and it provided the, and with that common starting point before it started, its issuer, Satoshi, gave a reasonable opportunity for anyone to start the network. That was in 2008 when he first issued the white paper. He waited 90 days for anyone to, to start the network. No one did. So then he started giving them common opportunity and a, and a neutral oppor opportunity to create the growth without a central point of influence. There was no central point of influence. And because of that Genesis block, like Wright said, is is the, you know, it's it's ultimately just, it's the anchor of the whole system. Nothing can be moved. All right. So if nothing can be moved, how do we rebut this entire idea of of Wright being Satoshi? Uh, I'm not sure who this guy Bis Freedom is, but hey, hats off to him. I you know love to find out who he is and chat with him he sounds really really informed and he and he says here nine hours ago someone sent 26.9 btc to the address that holds a coin the coinbase award from bitcoin genesis block two days ago craig tweeted that the genesis coins aren't spendable because they weren't mined his his prediction is that craig will spend the 26.9 BTC to prove he's Satoshi. Raphael, I, I, this is a, this dude is really super informed. Raphael Laverde, he's friends with Jack. Somebody I really want to want to meet. And Raphael, if you if you watch this, uh, would love to chat with you. We should talk on Twitter and and do a do a. I know you've got a great YouTube channel, and I'm a big fan and. Uh, following your stuff with a with a dollar vigilante. So I would love to get to know you better. But he says here, Satoshi's alive. Either Satoshi woke up or bought 27 Bitcoins from Binance and deposited, their, deposited them in their wallet or someone just burned millions of dollars. What the heck is going on, dude? Like, so either Satoshi just woke up and bought 27 Bitcoins or somebody burned really millions of dollars. Something's happening. Satoshi just bought 27 Bitcoins, that's millions of dollars. Millions. Here's the chain. Uh, here's the actual link to the block. You can see here on mempool. Should show this. I Hopefully my screen is still showing. Bitcoin Explorer, mem, mem space. Here's the transaction into the Satoshi wallet. 29... 26.9116. What's going on? So Satoshi just bought a bunch of Bitcoin. Is that what just happened? Well, back to that tweet. What did Wright say? He says that the Genesis block wasn't spendable. Nothing ever moved because nothing can be moved. It wasn't a valid mine block. It's the anchor. It's the it was it's the anchor of the network. As the anchor of the network, why is that? Because it's in, it's in a legal sense. That's what's keeping it from being a security, by not moving the anchor, the original block. Because there's no central point of control. There's no central uh, point that just dictate the entire network. That's the anchor block, and that's the foundation. What's keeping it from being a security? So by right. Or Satoshi, let's say, just say, right, Satoshi buying 27 Bitcoin just now, as of yesterday. What these guys on Twitter are, are alleging, and I'm going to go ahead and, and make the prediction here and rebut uh, these guys on the Dr. Bitcoin channel, the Copa channel, stating that, uh, oh, right, doesn't know what he's talking about. The Genesis block wasn't mined. Uh, you know, no, no, no. What they're missing is that's a legal term. This is a legal terminology as to why the Genesis block is the anchor. It's because it's preventing it from becoming a security. This is what makes it a digital commodity. Why Bitcoin, and I mean, you know, the original Bitcoin is the pure digital commodity because of this. And to rebut all of this and keep the, the Genesis block pure from ever becoming a security, Satoshi just bought 27 Bitcoin or somebody burned millions of dollars. And more likely than not, Satoshi just bought 27 Bitcoin. And then at the trial, 
at the trial. It's coming up a month away, a little over a month away. Sure is a great time for Satoshi to come back, right? Now's a great time to buy this stuff up and say, you know, let me go ahead and drop the hammer down and appear at trial and make the determination, prove to everyone in, the, in their head and, and without disturbing the actual Genesis block itself and the sacredness of not being a security by by not moving the block, just like he just stated yesterday on this tweet on the on the ninth on the third of this tweet, and instead move the 27 bitcoins that he just bought out to another wallet. And actually that, that will then move the Genesis that will then move the keys from the Genesis block without, a, without affecting the original uh, block itself, because this is the new deposit that just came into it. So that way the keys could move. If he moves that those 27 Bitcoin that just got deposited in. And think about it, it would just be a simple, uh, just a simple transaction. Send the 27 Bitcoin off to another wallet. Okay, that's enough. For all those people who think that signing is proof, you know, signing really isn't proof in a court of law, but according to the internet, it's proof. And, you know, but I'm going to make the case that it still won't be enough because uh, people on the internet, COPA and them, this isn't about, uh, this isn't about identifying Satoshi this is about destroying Bitcoin because of what it does. You know, Bitcoin takes away power. Bitcoin takes away power. It creates sovereign money, like the case that Daniel Kravitz just did, you know, made in my interview with him yesterday. It's the most pure form of sovereign, independent money. And it's not, this case is ultimately, uh, you know, the other side doesn't want Satoshi to come forward, no matter who he is. If he's, you know, some guy from Japan, or if it's Craig Wright, or if it's a group of people, they don't want him to come forward no matter what. Okay, because Bitcoin takes away power and they want Bitcoin to be destroyed. That's the whole purpose. And when I say Bitcoin, I mean the original Bitcoin, BSV. And, you know, all the other side wants is, hey, stop using the name Bitcoin when you're not following the actual protocol set out in the white paper. So that's going to roll over to the copyright claim. This is some of the biggest stuff that's not being talked about, it looks like. But the Satoshi keys uh, are likely to be moved now in the court case at trial. That's the prediction here I'm making. And he just he just bought 27 Bitcoin. And by doing that, he'll be able to move those keys by moving just moving the Bitcoin, sending them off somewhere else. Uh, and so that'll be the signing by by moving the keys by sending the Bitcoin that just got put into the into the wallet to prove somebody's controlling the Satoshi Satoshi keys, and it sure as heck looks like it's the guy who's getting sued, the little guy, the little genius. You guys ever watched the movie uh, Rain Man? I mean, this guy in Rain Man was like a like a genius. He was counting cards and all these things, and he had all these special powers he could do. I mean. You know, it starts to get a foundation for like someone on that type of intelligence that it does happen. There is such a person out there like that. And when you realize like how many master's degrees this guy has, was it, was it like 27 master's degrees? Maybe I'm saying maybe 21. I don't know. I wish I, I wish I had one master's degree plus law degrees, doctorates of law. And it's just ongoing. The spiritual degrees, the religious degrees, becoming a, a pastor. I mean, just a comprehension is on another level okay this is just next level i don't think we've ever seen anyone ever educated this much in our in our history that we could ever say that anyone's ever, ever been this educated so therefore we got a person who's honestly on another level of intellect and it looks like he's going to sign the satoshi keys at trial with this 27 bitcoin satoshi seems to be alive right now or somebody just wasted 27 bunch of millions of dollars. This is Gavin Mail Saturday, and I'm going to freaking uh, get this video out there. More stuff to come. I'd like to talk to Raphael for sure. If he sees this, he'd be a really cool guy to learn from. And, uh, you know, I'm all about it, man. This is really, it's time to get the word out there. And I will see you. Uh, don't forget, I'm going to put a hand cash link in the bottom. You know, we could put donations on Bitcoin. We're going to freaking crush it this year in 2024. Bitcoin SV, that is, if it's your first time buying or getting into Bitcoin, Bitcoin SV, everybody should be holding at least one 
get one BSV. Everybody should have it. Even the Copa guys should have it. Just have one because in the future, if you look at what Daniel Kravitz is talking about, in the future, we'll be dealing in Satoshis. One Satoshi is 100 million Satoshis in one Bitcoin. 100 million Satoshis in one Bitcoin. So everybody should have one. All right, this is Gavin Mail. For your first time getting one, send me one at the end of it. And I'll see you guys at the very, very top. Happy New Year, everybody.